What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Q back again, a child with another video, man. Hey, look, before we even get into this video, man, I just want to say, man, I thank and I appreciate as la every last single one of you guys that been liking, you know, subscribing, commenting, and definitely the people. I definitely want to thank the new supporters that joined the QTV Mafia, man, because I ain't going to lie, man, I've been getting a lot of... I've been getting a lot of love and support, and, and that should keep me going, man. Like, people that show me that love and support keeps me going, keep me motivated, man. Keep me wanting to do the shit that I'm doing. Keep me wanting to get out videos every single day, man. But today, uh, we're going to react to trying to steal our unstillable motorcycle. And I want to, me personally, I plan on getting, I plan on buying me a car. So by me planning on buying me a car, bro, I need to know, I need to learn the best defense, uh, the best defense kits or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I need to know if I get me a car, because I don't want nobody still on my shit. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But um, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that like button, subscribe. Do I got to say it again? Oh, okay, but hit that subscribe button, man. If you're new to the channel, man, join the fucking mafia, man. Let's get into this video. And only Suzuki GSXR 600, one of the most commonly stolen motorcycles. And this bike is perfect for the job because it's got experience with being stolen. So here's the plan. We staged the GSXR on the street. Now, not just any street, the mean streets of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And then our thief. Okay, I'll admit it's actually Craig. We'll see how long it takes him to break into each anti-theft device. And we're gonna be monitoring this with a hidden secret camera. Okay, it's not that hidden or that secret. Definitely not hidden. It's just a camera on top of Van Diesel. Craig will also have to deal with all the variables that a thief would normally have to deal with, such as vigilantes, bystanders, police jumping in, children mistaking him for a younger, thinner Santa Claus, and the most frightening thing of all, the potential guard snake. Now the first motorcycle anti-theft device we're gonna try is the classic brake lock. And the way this works is, here I'll show you. This goes around the brake, this goes around the bar, and then it locks down like this. And the idea is that because the, the front brake is engaged, that you can't, it's gonna be kind of a pain to move the bike. Now the benefit of something like this is one, they're pretty inexpensive. Two, it'll fit in your pocket, it's really small. And three, it's really, really easy to use. You saw it, it took me two seconds to put it on, and it only took me a couple seconds with the key to take it off. So let's see how long it takes Craig Not bad. to bust this thing open, if he even can bust it open. Ah, uh, come on. So the thief walks up and scopes out the bike. After checking to see that the coast is clear, he checks to make sure the bike lock is working. He looks around once again, just like thieves often do before he commits a crime, and then just with a screwdriver and a wrench, he disconnects the brake lever from the master cylinder, bypassing the anti-theft device entirely. And in less than two minutes, without making any noise, walks away with my bike. That shit does not work. Do not get that. Took a little longer than I thought it was gonna with the pressure on the front brake. It's a little harder to pull that pin out, but as you can see, I could have done that in probably 30 seconds and been gone. A couple other things I could have done that would have been quicker. One is I could have just cut the brake lever. Could have just cut that right off and boom, I'm gone in less than 10 seconds. This seems pretty stout. I'd say one of the things that's gonna keep honest people honest. So should you buy this? A train thief is gonna get through this in seconds and your bike's gonna be gone. Now there are three ways that a motorcycle thief will try and steal your motorcycle. The first is probably the simplest, and that's just to ride off with the bike to their lair, cave, or swamp. And once he's riding the bike, he doesn't look suspicious anymore. He just blends in with all the other criminals riding motorcycles. The biggest obstacle that they'll need to overcome is turning the ignition switch. And since most motorcycles don't use an ignition that requires a transponder, you could just jam a screwdriver in there and turn the switch if you have enough leverage, or use a special file down blank key, or unplug the ignition and then plug in your own from another bike and then just turn the key and be on your way. Now this is not the first time this motorcycle has been stolen. After we posted the first video about this about a year ago of me and Craig trying to restore a wrecked bike that we bought at the auction in just eight hours, 
I got an unusual message from someone on Instagram who said, that's my bike. And he even sent photographic proof and we compared the VIN and it's right. It was his bike. Now I'm going to get back to the story in a second, but with these next items right here, I've saved that bike from getting stolen. We're gonna find out. This is the classic motorcycle rotor lock. And what this does is it puts a little pin inside one of the holes in the rotor. And See, I need to find this video, but with cars, you know what I'm saying? Stops your bike from being able to move and it, it hits the forks and stuff like that. And this is the mighty, mighty, legendary Vulcan chain. Look how thick that chain is. This is said to be almost un- Cuttable. I'm gonna put both of these on the motorcycle at the same time and see how long it takes Craig before he can seal the motorcycle, if he's even able to do it. So I mounted the unbreakable chain on the bike and the rotor lock. Let's see if Craig or Thief can steal the bike in broad daylight on a busy road with neighbors walking by. So once again, our Thief walks up to scope out his next victim, but this time he's wearing a mask. Seeing the chain on the back tire, he pulls out his bolt cutter. But the rotor lock has a motion sensor and is now going off, letting everyone around him know that this bike is getting stolen. Oh, that's kind of, okay, that's kind of flashy. I like that one. But no one seems to care. The bolt cutters were no match for the unbreakable chain, and the bike is saved until the thief pulls out this. And in about three minutes, he was able to get past the chain. Then for the rotor lock, although it was loud and annoying, It only took the thief two minutes to get past it and steal my Oh uh, yeah. These are all bad. Don't get these, y'all. My bike. Shit. It slowed me down. There's no way anybody's getting through this thing with bolt cutters. I was either gonna break myself for the bolt cutters. I think this is a pretty good way to secure your bikes. It's kind of the method I use when I take my dirt bikes in uh, overnight trips. It is definitely gonna slow somebody down, but they will need power tools to get it off. I like it, I think this is a good product. This little thing, this little thing will slow people down and it makes noise. It could make a louder noise with the alarm. They are gonna need power tools to get it off. I was a little concerned about this one. And one of the things I don't like about these is that cord. You need to keep the cord with these and that cord comes up to your handlebars. And the reason that cord comes up to your handlebars is so you don't forget you put this on, start your bike, put it in gear and ride away with this on your front or rear caliper. It breaks things. Ask me how I know that. I didn't do it. I had to fix one for a guy that did it. So here's an example of the second way a motorcycle thief will steal your motorcycle. First, you see these gentlemen walk up to scope out the bike. And then you notice the first guy pushes the handlebar to see if the steering wheel lock is on. And it is. And the bike is saved and the good guys win and the bad guys are defeated and they're questioning all their life choices. No. They come back two seconds later and easily break the fork lock and shamefully duck walk the bike back to their marsh or wherever awful place they come from. So after this GSXR got stolen, the police told the owner, you're never going to see the bike again. And all the money that he had invested in this thing was, just, was down the drain. But a month later, he got a I'd have been pissed off, bro. Phone call from the police saying, come get your bike. And when he shows up at the police station, this is what he found. His nice, clean, perfectly maintained motorcycle was completely destroyed. It turns out that a month later after the bike was stolen, the thief was running from the cops and then ran the bike into another police car. And that's how he crashed it. Now I know what you're thinking. And I tried, I made a couple phone calls and I was not able to get the body cam footage or the squad car footage of seeing that bike wreck into it. But that would have been pretty cool. But I imagine it probably looked pretty similar to this. Slide, huge crash. But the big question <laughs> is, could this product right here have helped our friend from getting his bike stolen. This right here is the Mac Daddy of motorcycle theft items. This thing it has baronium, baronium. It's a special coating that they put on this metal. It's supposed to dull angle grinders. Let's see how long it takes Craig to figure this one out and see if he can steal that bike. So I put the new lock on her bike and let's see if the thief can steal it now. Now this lock apparently has a special coating in making it angle grinder proof. And it appears to be working. Dude, that's impressive. So he decides to pull up the big gun and handheld bandsaw. Tight. 
I'm out, my pants are falling down. But that doesn't work either and Man. really dulls the blade. It just wasted those teeth. I'm like barely halfway through this thing. Then he tries a Sawzall and that doesn't work. And then the so thief can't. stops and pets a dog. Hi, puppy. How are you? And after a few batteries and a stack of grinding discs. This thing can't be overheating that fast. There's no way. More discs. He still can't get the thing off. I've never seen anything like this. It, it's nuts. I'm running out of tools. Well, hopefully it, get it, off? it should spin and I can. Hopefully it should spin. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to say, Dad? He still gets broken. I still can't get, ah, oh, dang it. And it won't spin. No. It's a pretty skookum blade you got on there and it, it just, it just knocked the teeth right off. Our thief was successfully deterred. The Omen 16 laptop. I can game on the go on the highest settings on the latest GP. I think if anybody got a bike, y'all yeah, should probably get that. You know, it ain't, it, it, it ain't gone. Ain't no little small tool gonna be able to get that bitch out. Nope, he's back. And with a small generator and a metal blade. And with a metal blade, he got it off pretty quick. This is pretty impressive. I don't know if we got a bump grinder and it's pretty secure. I'm not saying you can't get into it, because I did, but it's secure. I like this one. And the third way to steal a motorcycle looks a little something like this. These guys pull up in a Silverado, classic Chevy truck guy thing to do. They pull up next to the bike inside the parking garage and they uncover a really nice CBR 1000 RR, all tucked away under its cover and not hurting a soul. And in the worst possible way, they pick up the 120 pound motorcycle and throw it into the back of the truck and drive away, causing hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of damage just to the bodywork with this move. They don't even use tank straps to tie the thing down. They just lay it down on the side. Tank straps, the world's greatest motorcycle tie down strap available on Amazon or M1 Moto. It's going to be able to bust through this one. But I know exactly what you're thinking. And you're thinking, Sean, aren't you just teaching these thieves how to steal our motorcycles? The answer is no. One, thieves don't watch my channel. They're too busy watching John Malecki trying to do woodworking. What the hell, dude? They're not thieves. They're nice people. And two, they already know how to steal stuff. What I'm doing is I'm informing the Bikes and Beards Brotherhood. I'm informing Beep. us on how they're doing it. I ain't got no motorcycle, but I got a bike, like a bicycle. So that we know- I do got a dirt bike too. Know how to stop them from doing it. Because the better informed we are, the more likely we can stop those guys. And this is a lesson that I learned from the greatest show of all time, G.I. Joe. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Now I legally bought this GSXR at an auction because after it got wrecked, and it was returned to the owner. He couldn't afford to fix it, so he took it back to the dealership and turned it in and got 900 bucks for it. And that dealership sent it to the auction, and that's where I bought it. And after a year since he last saw the video of us putting this bike back together, I reached out to him and I said, hey, I got some merchandise I want to give you. Can I get your address? And he responded by saying he's closer to us than he used to be, and he just wants to stop by at the shop. Let's go see if Craig can get past the last and potentially greatest anti-theft device, and then we'll go meet the old owner. I got a little surprise for him. Seem a lot. <laughs> Seem like you could probably get through that. We gonna see though. It look like a damn boot. Like if you from if you from Chicago, you know what a boot is. And and niggas know how to break boots. Ooh. Our thief rolls up and sees the target, and then he pulls out the big gun. It goes right to the portable bandsaw. It's not liking it. No, dang. Didn't even do anything. Barely scratched it. Not having any luck with the bandsaw, he goes back to the faithful battery powered angle grinder and in less than five minutes, 
he's gone with my bike. For the wheelie clamp. So basically you're gonna use something like this at your house or at your friend's house. You're not gonna really carry it around with you to use whenever you park at the ice cream shop when you're out for a ride. Um, and it was really easy to get through with an angle grinder. So I would not recommend this style of lock. I think we've shown there's better options for you. Uh, this one here, don't spend your money on it. Don't waste your time with it. It's not gonna keep your bike safe. Okay, hold on a second. Just to fill you guys in, during this entire process, no one stopped us, no one questioned Craig, no one called the, no one said anything. Daylight in the middle of the day, we were stealing this bike four times and no one did anything. I, I kind of lost faith in humanity. But our boy Jake is gonna be here in a little bit and I can't wait to show him the bike and we have a little surprise for him. You're gonna like this. What's up, Jake? What's going on, man? Well, hey, man, well, I wanted to give you some stuff. My um, man. We got a large shirt, surf shirt. Got some tie down straps. You said you got a new bike, right? Uh, yeah, it's a 750. I got the sticker. We, oh, we, we, we got patches somewhere, and then we got the M1 Moto, oh, the detailing kit. <laughs> He's got the spray and the, the microfiber and stuff like that. Oh, my man. Thanks, brother. We got bad news about your bike, though. What happened to it? Uh, we let some guy test drive it, like, two months ago. Uh-huh. He told it. You're kidding. No, I'll show, I'll show it to you. It's crazy. <laughs> That bike's been through a lot. We're, we're trying to put it back together now. I got a different color wheel. It was it was destroyed, man. It was awful. So I'm trying to re-put it back together, and this is what we got so far. Oh my gosh, you really redid it. Yeah. Dude, how many times is that bike gonna get wrecked? You know what I, mean? I don't know. I mean, the, the dude who stole it from me, he ran it into a cop car. So. That's so crazy. So what was it like when, when the cops called you and said like, hey. So originally when I walked out to work, it was terrible. Like it was the worst thing of my life. Like yeah. I walked out just going to work and the bike was gone. Right. And so I called, I called Anne Arundel County Police and they were like, yeah, unfortunately this happens. A lot of people come down from Baltimore and steal it and then they'll chop it up. They're like, you'll probably never see that bike again. A month goes by, they call me, they're like, hey, we found your bike. I was like, they're like, yeah, we have it at the scrapyard. You're thinking it's all nice, right? No, they're, they're like, we have keys. And I was like, how do they have keys with it if I have the keys at home? So right. Right, that's crazy. The dude, I guess, punched it out and took it. But yeah, when I got it, it was terrible. I mean, there, there she was. And then one day I was at work, I was like, I was like, that's my bike. And that's the guy right there who stole it. That's the guy who stole it? Yeah, that on the left. How'd you find him? How, how do you know, how do you have that picture? Um, Because on the report, they had his name, so I just looked him on Facebook. Oh, shoot. The crazy thing about it is, this guy, his profile, his old profile picture, he posted my stolen bike on his No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what happened when he took him to court? He He's paying me back over time. Okay. <laughs> he's supposed to pay me back in a year. It's been almost three years now. Oh, dang. So, it's taking a while. Actually, I'm messing with you, man. That's not your bike. You're kidding. <laughs> nah, I got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is your old bike. This is also your new bike. We're giving it back to you. You're kidding. Nah, man. Ooh. I just knew they had a good surprise for that man. It's all yours. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. Now you got two bikes. Are you, are you serious? Yeah, dude. Oh my god. This is your second bike now, man. You're getting your old bike back after three years, right? Yeah. It's got we got new tires on it. Runs solid. It's not perfect. This the body had like a little crack right here. You know what I mean? But still, it's still a. It looks pretty good. I thought it looked pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My heart's racing right now. Look at this thing. It runs good. I love videos like this, man. But man. My heart's racing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Dude. So my, my dad used to ride when he, before he had me, so I mean, now me and him can go ride too. Oh, it's cool. Let's fire it up. Can I sit on her? Hop on her, man. <laughs> Oh, man. I love videos like that, man. It's good that they surprised him and gave him his bike back and they fixed it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't have to do that, but, you know, that people like that is a blessing, for sure, for sure. And uh, and I hope y'all enjoyed the message of this video, which is, you know, bike, bike self-defense self bike locks, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, bike locks to help y'all, you know what I'm saying, if y'all ever part. I recommend getting the second to last one when the dude hit to pull out the biggest shit. I think that's the best lot. But uh, that's that's it for this video, man. Hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. If y'all enjoyed this video, subscribe. Hit that like button. We go.